Hi, everybody, and welcome to our webinar, where you'll be learning about some exciting features on PCNA.com and how you can use them to make your job easier. I'm Mark Thabit, Senior Vice President of Marketing at PCNA. And just to get us started, I'm going to talk a little bit about digital transformation, uh, what it means for overall, what it means for the promo channel, and what it means for each of us. So what is digital transformation? It's probably a buzzword you've heard a lot about, probably since the pandemic. Uh, it can encompass a lot of different things, uh, but the simplest explanation is using technology to find ways to modify and enhance business processes. It's the way we work, where we work, uh, customer experiences, and journeys in a changing world. And things don't look quite the same they did as a few years ago. Uh, the pandemic caused digital acceleration and definitely impacted how fast we've adapted. Many people are working remotely now, uh, changing the way we do things, and there's more of a reliance on online experience. There's been an increase in the way we use technology and the use of personal devices uh, for work as our business and personal lives meld together. That the expectation and the reality of today is that digital interactions are the norm. In a McKenzie Global Survey, digital adoption was shown to have accelerated by three to four years by the pandemic, with many saying that 80% of customer interactions are now digital. The shift to digital product offerings has been even more pronounced. The acceleration is pegged at seven years. Businesses are digitizing service offerings, adding digital components to customer experiences in more traditional industries, and also digitizing the back office functions to improve and support customers in new ways. This has also changed customer expectations with regard to purchasing, with many moving online for their shopping experience. E-commerce was already growing pre-pandemic, but it, per it pushed more online, more frequently. Digital Commerce 360 estimates the pandemic contributed an extra $218 billion to e-commerce's bottom line over the last two years. That's a 50% increase. I know myself, I bought more online and more types of products over the last couple of years. Initially, it was toilet paper and cleaning supplies, wherever I could find them. Uh, but then eventually I purchased a kayak online, not a product I would have thought to buy online prior to the pandemic. And it started out of necessity, but essentially I continued because of the convenience. The convenience of retail commerce is something that everyone has come to expect in an online experience. And that's why we continuously make improvements to bring even to bring promo even closer to that retail experience. Our website and the tools our customer support teams use are designed to make your experience with PCNA easier and more reliable. It's part of the PCNA promise. You deserve an easy, reliable service experience and perfectly decorated products delivered on time every time. Because what we do together for your customer is more than just deliver promotional products. Together, we inspire pride. And we strive to be a partner you can, carry, you can count on. So that brings us to the updates we've made to our site over the past year. It's designed to make your job easier with the tools you need just to click away. See real-time inventory, easy to create virtuals, order samples with a couple of clicks, Place decorated and blank orders online with your specific account pricing. And track order details for all orders, whether they were placed online or not. So let's take a look at some of these time-saving features firsthand and a couple of new ones that we just launched. I'm pleased to hand it over to Brittany Welsh, our digital product manager, who is going to walk you through a few of these features and show you how to make the most of PCNA.com account. Brittany, it's all yours. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mark, for that introduction. Um, as Mark said, my name is Brittany Welsh. I'm the digital product manager here at PCNA. 
which means that I get the awesome pleasure of working with our internal teams, specifically our IT development teams, to focus on making improvements on our site to continuously get that experience better and better for all of you guys, our customers. So as Mark said, today I'm going to walk you guys through the new features and enhancements that we've put out over the past couple of months and remind us and go over some of those helpful tools and tricks that make you feel more confident using our site. So I'm gonna get us started, but to confirm, can you guys see my screen? Perfect, awesome, thank you, Mark. So welcome to the homepage of pcna.com for those of you who haven't been here before and welcome back for those of you who have. This is the screen that's gonna greet you every time you come to our website, whether you're logged in or not. But if you follow my mouse right up here to this top right corner, we'll see in the two menu bars, we have that, hi, Brittany, that lets you know that I'm already logged in. So I'm ready to start looking at whatever I need in my account or do some shopping. So to start in this section, like I said, this is where you'll find all your specific account details. If you click into your name, we'll see my orders, which we'll get into a little bit later, your account details, your projects, the things that are specific to your account as you're logged in to uh, our website. And beneath it, we have our tools and services tab and our live chat. This is the area you'll go to when you need a little help, whether that be learning more about products, getting sales sheets, um, chatting with an agent on an order, whatever that may be, your quick access tools are right over here. So as we move across our menu bar, we'll see our proud path, perfectly packaged and brands tabs, which is where you can go to quickly access those services and programs to learn more about it. And our brands, you can dive deep into the different brands we offer and learn more about those before you start uh, browsing through our brands. But you know, most of the time when we're online, we know what we want, we know what we're looking for. So your go-tos will be our search option right over here. What can we help you find where you can search by brand, product, a SKU number if you know it. But let's say you don't know that and you know, okay, well, I need 500 units under $15 each because I need pens or cups. I can do that search and it'll take us right to whatever I had put those specifications in there and I can start browsing through. Our products, new clearance and deep inventory help us browse in a different way, like we know from, you know, any other websites we shop on, but we've added this new deep inventory tab that I think you guys are going to be super excited about. So let's get into that. So deep inventory is exactly what you think it would be, what we have a lot of on hand right now. And when you click into that tab from our menu bar, it'll take you to the page where you'll see products from across every different category. And all of these products are labeled as deep inventory because we have a lot of them on hand right now. And we wanted to be able to call that out really quickly and easily so that you could come on here and quote and feel confident and accurate with those quotes when you're working back with your customers. So let's say you don't wanna browse all of them. We still have all of our filters over here to the left that you can apply to drill down a little bit further. Let's say I know my customer wants drinkware and I'm still looking at a little bit too much and I know they want a tumbler. I'll keep drilling down and I'll have those filters be able to kind of refine them as I go through to really only show what's still applicable from my search results still showing. So as you can see, I'm scrolling through and all of these products are still being called out as deep inventory. And you can see when I hover over those, we have this new check inventory option. So really making sure whatever type of information you need to know about your product and what inventory we have, you can get to it super quick. So by clicking into this option, you'll see this nice pop-up appear where it'll give you our current stock of both colors we have of this product, color name, SKU, what's available now, and when our next expected shipments. Right at the bottom, you can see when it was last updated. So it was updated about three minutes ago. So it's pretty much as accurate inventory as you could need. But let's say you don't need to know what you want today. Your customer needs something in September. No problem. Let's click into the menu bar up here and we'll go out to September, pick our date, enter our quantity. We need 500 and hit that submit button and we'll see yes, we will definitely have that inventory on stock on the day you need it and even give you the information as to when we'll have our next shipment in. So whatever type of information you need, we're letting you be able to drill in from our search results page, but we also have those called out on our product detail page. So as we get into this a little bit more, you can see it's still called out deep inventory. We really want you to remember that wherever you are, we know how busy it can be or you know how many tabs we would have open when we're shopping. We have that check inventory at the button right down here as well. So you can quickly do the same exact thing you would from our search results page, just like we went through. But what probably some of you noticed right away is this section here looks a little bit different. We have three buttons here calling out the different actions you would do once you come to a product detail page. You know, what do I need to know about this product? What do I need to get from my customer? Does it need to be a virtual? Is it a sample or are we ready to go with this order? So let's go through all three of these and we'll start with a ritual. 
So when I click into this, we'll see that there is a bit of a little journey, but it's because we want to be able to give you the most accurate virtual you would need. Quick access is what we're trying to do here. So let's click into our method, which means how do I want this um, method to be applied to this product. So I'll go with laser. When we click into artwork, we have the option to upload something from our computer if we have a brand new piece of art or a logo from our customer, or if we have something from an existing customer, I'll click into our existing and choose the PCNA logo here. Go ahead and confirm that. And my last step is to choose the location. So where on here do I want it? These are very similar steps that you'll go to in the go through in the configure journey, which we'll do in just a little bit. But you'll see once I click onto that decoration location, that virtual will immediately pop up showing you, hey, here's what your product will look like. Um, and you can be able to save that image uh, right away. It'll open up into a separate tab here. We will have that product image, the product name, SKU, and the information you would need on it to be able to go and have some um, confident conversations with your customer about the specific product details we have here. So as we go back to the website, Let's say, okay, awesome. I want a virtual, but I also want a sample for this product as well. No problem. We'll click into the sample tab. And now, super exciting, you can get your samples on the web whenever you need. So you'll see a quick choice here. Do I need the black or white? I know I want the white and we'll see any specifications that are called out for this product. So you can see here, there's a limit of a maximum of three. So let's say I wanted two samples for my customer. I would change that and we would see our subtotal change here. And I'd be able to add those to our cart right from there. It will immediately add to your cart. You'll get that green confirmation button that we'll see here in a second right at the top, which you can click to go right to your cart. You'll also see it in your cart count right up here. So as I scroll down to the sample section, you guys are getting a sneak peek of something that's coming soon in this webinar. You'll see that that product has been added right here. We added two of them in the white. It's a sample. Awesome. We're ready to go. So let's go through that last part on the product detail page, which is the configure journey. So I have my sample of my tumbler, but let's say I need a sports bottle as well. So I'll click into my product. And once I get to my page, I'll click into configure my order. And we'll see right away, there's a new step added to your first part of the configure my order journey, which is your time frame. How fast do I need this? We now have the capabilities of adding SureShip to your order on the web. So you can see it clearly letting you know that this will be sure to ship out on your next business day for $40 extra on your order. So because there are a couple extra things called out in this journey, let's go through a sure ship order and add that to our cart. So we'll see right away, we have that constant reminder added there. Hey, you added sure ship to this order. So uh, don't forget, <laughs> as we go through each step, we'll see if there's any call out. So, um, you know, based on the requirements that we need, we would need to be able to process and get this order out for tomorrow. We have a limit of 399 units. So let's say I need 150. I'll confirm that. I'll come down to my decorated section. Um, the decorated process is a bit longer. So let's go through that one together. I'll go to my decoration method and we'll see right now, just as a call out, sure ship available for single artwork only, the single color artwork only right now. No problem. It just so happens my artwork is single color. I'll click into artwork here. And right now we have the call out that SureShip is restricted to the art library. And that's what we've launched with because based on the requirements that we need to be able to get that artwork out within the timeframe, this is um, this aligns with those um, processes. But it doesn't mean that we're not looking into how we can upload art or you know proceed with not having artwork. But it just means for now, this is what our um, base is. But on that note, if you don't have artwork yet, there's no problem. You can continue to proceed through your order. You would just be going for a quote. You wouldn't be able to add it to your cart. So let's move on to the last step, which is decoration location. So I can scroll and see my options here. I'll go with my recommended option and we'll see the new virtual pop-up of the product I just configured. We'll see all of my specifications shown here in detail that I can easily click back into if I need. And I can click this drop down here and see the breakdown of all of the fees that have been associated with those specifications to build that order. So as I move over, we have our standard save to project section, but I know my customer wants this. So I'm gonna add it to my cart. So just like our sample, it's gonna work the same exact way. We'll get that confirmation on our screen when it's been added. And we can move to our cart and see that product immediately added to our cart. So as I said, uh, before, we did make some changes in here that you can see it's now not just one giant cart, although it's still kind of this. 
but we have sections within it. We have our blanket decorated section as well as our sample section. So we're trying to make it even more easy for you to jump in, look what you're ordering, be able to drill down into the orders you have for your customers. And, you know, let's say all of a sudden, you know, I only need my samples today. I don't need to get these blank and decorated orders, but I do know I need to get them soon. No problem. We added a safer later section here. So you can do it by section total. So I could move all of my blank or decorated orders here. Or I could do it by the individual order level too. So let me save this. Um, decorated order for this Parkland Vintage for later. And we'll see that once the page reloads, um, now that I've added something to the save for later section, that product, that section will appear at the bottom of the screen. And that'll save there until you do something with the product that you've added here. So whether you um, edit it and add it back to the cart, move it right back to the cart or delete it, it'll stay here waiting for you to kind of make sure uh, whatever you want to do with it, you can do that. From here, you just proceed. Oh, almost forgot one last thing. Don't want to forget calling out the share ship fees that are broken down, making sure that, you know, if you do need to um, go through those order fees and clearly talk through anything with your customers, we have them clearly broken down for you in the cart as well as checkout. But um, then you'd be able to proceed with your order, picking your shipping and check out as you would expect to. So um, you've placed your orders. We know we have this. We have orders out. I don't know about you guys, but the second I press send on Amazon or submit, I'm basically like, is it at my front door yet? And I want to know where it is. So we have the My Orders section for you now where you can go see your order history. So this isn't just your orders that you placed online, like Mark said, this is any order you've placed with PCNA on this account. So um, whether that be an email you sent in, a call you've made, or an order you placed on the web, you'll be able to access all of these orders here. So you'll see quickly, I have just over 1900 orders here. So that's a lot. I have a lot of orders I need to drill down into. So I better be able to. So we have those quick filters up here. All right, what do I have issues on? Okay, these are the orders I need to get fixed so I can get them out the door. As we scroll through, you can see that there's different um, holds that have been placed on these orders. If I click down, we'll now see there's an order problem. There's information missing on your order that you need to be able to proceed. And we have the contact option here. So um, giving you what's going on, missing some information up. Oh, let me quick contact and get that resolved and start that conversation so I can get this out the door. Removing that filter and, you know, um, outside of these filters we have here, we also have this filter option as well that lets you filter by order status, order type, or order brand. So if you need to look at it from a different lens, you can also come up here and filter here. So like I said, I always want to know where my products are. I always want to know where my stuff is. So I'll filter down into shift and we'll take a peek at what these look like. So one thing to call out that you can clearly see as we go through here is we have this awesome tracking bar that lets you know this is what the status of my order is at a high level. It's been shipped. It's out there. But I want to know exactly where it is. So I'll click into my view details and I'll be able to access that shipping link that'll take me over to whatever carrier that I use and be able to track it step by step until it's been delivered. And once it has been, when you come back to your view orders page, you'll see that that order is now marked as completed instead of in shipped. So it really just links up and keeps everything in sync for you. So whatever type of information you need to drill down in and whatever you need to be able to access on your orders, you can do so from here. So now that we've gone through all of the new and exciting tools on the site, I'd like to go back to the sample and remind you guys that because you've come on the webinar today, you're going to get a uh, free sample. So I'm gonna remind you guys how to do that. So you'll go to whatever product you're looking for, whatever sample you need, just under $10. So what you'll do is you come to the sample tab, you'll click in, double check that price, boom, you're ready to go, add it to your cart and you'll be able to see that discount applied to the product cost in the cart and as you check out and you'll be able to go from there. So quickly, I'm going to switch into what I'm sharing. If anybody needs those steps, what you're going to do, you'll log in. That's just the most important part that you're logged into your account. If you don't have an account with us yet, if you click sign in, you'll also be able to create a new account from there. Then go whatever to product detail page you need to click on what you would like to receive a Blake sample of. Click on that sample tab, order a sample tab, and then proceed to the checkout. But if you run into any issues, no problem there. Feel free to reach out to us and we're happy to walk you guys through any, any way that we can to help. But don't feel like that's the only reason that you should reach out to us. We're constantly looking at how to make our website better for all of you. And there's no better way for us to do that than to work together. 
So if there's anything that you think of when you're on the site or anything that you think would make your life easier, please feel free to reach out to the digital experience team at the email on your screen and we'd be happy to work together on figuring those out. Thank you guys so much for your time for walking you through some of these new features that we've added to the site. I'm gonna hand it back over to the team and go through some of the Q&A that may have popped up during our webinar. Brittany, thank you so much. And it looks like we are getting a couple of questions coming in. Uh, the first one that I see is uh, I noticed during the checkout, it states the price is not final. How big of a difference will the final price be? Um, and I can just quickly state that the product pricing that you're seeing for both the product and the decoration, that is the accurate price for your account. Um, but there are times when shipping, um, if you're shipping on our account, we don't calculate the actual shipping cost. We give you an estimate online, but we don't calculate the actual shipping cost. So that would be an example where the final isn't complete. Um, or there might be some orders that you want to have a drop ship. And that order might uh, need that information supplied offline. We don't accommodate the, the collection of those dropship addresses online right just yet. Uh, so that would be another charge and another component that wouldn't make it final. But uh, to reiterate, the product pricing, and in this case, the SureShip fee that you, show, that you saw, uh, the decoration charges, those are all accurate online and they're specific to your login. Let's see another question. Um, will a recording of this be sent out? Also had one for, uh, will the slides be available? Uh, so yeah, we've got a couple of questions. Um, there will be a uh, recording sent out. Um, so that, that'll have both the slides and the recording. You'll get an email as a registered attendee uh, that has that information. Um, let's see another one. Uh, when I'm logged in, I'm seeing net pricing shown. My customers won't see that, right? Uh, Brittany, you wanna take that one? Yes, no. Net price is only being seen by those that are logged in. So if a customer were to visit our site without a login and they were just viewing it as an unlogged in user, they would only see the coded price. Okay. Um, next one I see is, why can we not see tracking on orders that have shipped? I've had to call in to get that information on completed jobs. Um, Brittany, do you think maybe we could go through a, a quick yeah. screen show, a uh, share of, of where to find that information? Absolutely, let me stop this. There we go, okay. PowerPoint problems. All right, let me go back to the My Order section for you guys. You can still see my screen, right? Yes. Perfect. So if we drill down now into the ship section, so anything that's been shipped out, so it's in that status here, we can click down into the view details and we'll see the shipping link. So we can access that right here. It'll just open up in a separate tab from our website here. And it'll take you right to like, let's say you had used UPX, UPS or FedEx. It'll take you to their website to be able to follow along step-by-step step to uh, when it was actually delivered. Okay, um, we keep going through some more questions here. Um, when you search for items by price, is the price net retail or is it based on your personal account pricing? So within the search, when you are looking for a range or a limit on pricing, that is based on the coded price. So that's not specific to your account. Uh, so knowing that you will you know, receive some type of challenge, uh, discount off of that price, uh, when you're doing your searching, think about it from a coded price perspective. Um, uh, let's see, next one is similar. Uh, I, I oversee multiple accounts. Can I access those accounts with the same login and will the pricing reflect the associated price for each account? Brittany, you wanna handle that one? Yeah, absolutely. So. If you go, when you log into your account, you know, whatever you were last shopping on is the account that'll pop up for you, but that's no problem. If you click into your Hi Brittany drop down or Hi, whatever your name is, drop down, you'll be able to click on switch account and whatever accounts are associated with your login, you'd be able to see those listed here and switch over. So let's say I want to go to the test orders. I'll hit select. And when I open this, we'll see that immediately reflected. So I'm no longer showing the house account. I'm showing that I'm on our test orders account. 
So if I wanted to switch back right away, I could switch right back over there and do the same thing and it'll immediately update. So um, right under there uh, as the same spot you go in to access your account details. Great. Um, let's see, when I order samples, it requires a PO. I have to make one up that is different every time. Otherwise my order is lost. Is there a way we can just put our sample number? Um, I'll take that. I think I'm following the question. Um, the, the, when you put a sample order through, um, if you use the same PO number, um, that still will process. Uh, it does mean that we have a reconciliation process that we go through on the back end. So that order may be delayed if you don't have a unique PO uh, number. Um, we are working on that. That's something that maybe this user has reported to us as a challenge. Uh, so we, we did see that as a, a challenge that came through and we are working on it, but the processing of the order will still happen. It just is currently a manual process to, for, for intervention. All right, um, Brittany, maybe you can take this one. When I've logged into my account, I can never find previous invoices. Please show me how to find previous invoices. Absolutely. So you'd be able to find them here. They would just be in your completed status if that's what the order had been processed. So you could click into your completed or canceled here. You could filter in it from here. So let's, let's go this way. And then you'd be able to access any of the information that you would need. So you could see your PO number, your order type, your order date, your order total. You'd be able to click down here, scroll down, view the details. And you'd be able to review what you need from here. Or were you talking about your specific invoices? I realized halfway through, I may have misinterpreted your question. <laughs> I think it was just within the account, how can I see previous invoices? So I think you know, going through from a uh, order specific basis, you can see the invoices. Okay, perfect. And that's where the, you know, the, the status of completed will help uh, identify which ones are actually, will have an invoice available. Perfect. Um, here's a question around, if I provide a link to a customer, do, we need, do I need to log out first so they will not see net pricing? Uh, the short answer is no. Um, when a customer is linked to the website, um, sorry, when any user is linked to the website, unless they are logged in at the time that they, they land on the site, they won't see net pricing. So the default setting only coded pricing is shown and they won't have an opportunity to see that unless they are logged in. So unless you provide it, unless they have access to a, an account, they won't see net pricing. Um, Here's one that uh, maybe we can go through. Are samples under $10 free to ship? The window comes up in the sample cart and shows a very high dollar amount if PCNA ships on their number. Um, so yes, the, the short answer is for sample orders under $10, the product is free. You are responsible for the shipping of that product. You can ship it on our account or you can ship it on your own account. If you choose to ship it on PCNA's account, there is a charge for it. We do provide an estimate. And as it was said here, is a very high, it is a quote that is, um, as I mentioned actually earlier on a question and answer, uh, it is not calculated from a, what was actually charged until we are ready to ship it. So we know exactly what's being shipped. So if you're getting a quote that is high, it's highly likely that it would not be that high if the answer is you're just shipping the sample. Um, so uh, that, that is something that uh, the sample pricing for shipping um, is not unique to samples right now. And so that's a, an estimate for a minimum, minimum shipment. Okay. I see other orders from my company in the order history. Is there a way to just see mine? Um, I think that is referencing to an individual user on an account seeing just their own orders versus the orders that others in their account have placed. Uh, so the, the, the answer to that is no, there's not a way to filter or restrict 
the orders being uh, accessed today. Um, and largely that's because since we combine uh, online and offline orders, we only know who placed the online orders directly, right? So we don't have that captured information for every order as to who was the order placement from. Um, but that is something that is a good thing for us to capture and look at as an opportunity for us to develop. And actually, I'll use that as a plug uh, uh, to Brittany, if you want to push that slide back up. Uh, so people see the email address. If you do have suggestions for features or capabilities online, uh, we are interested in hearing from everybody. And that's the digital experience at PCNA.com email address. Um, we would welcome that input for things that we could uh, enhance the site. Next question on inventory. How often is it updated on the website? Brittany, you want to go through that? Yeah, absolutely. So the inventory is updated every 15 minutes on the site. And if you click into, I can show it again if you want me to remove the slide, no problem. I think that's good. So if we go into a Tumblr and we click check inventory, we'll see it was last updated at 121. So um, just about 10 minutes ago, and it will update again in about five. So in about five minutes, if you come back here, and it'll say that it just updated again at that time there. So, and that's like that for all of the products. And then for the deep inventory, um, that um, is, this, is run every night. So you'll see that has been recalculated every morning in case any orders have been placed um, on those products from the day prior. Excellent. Um, Similar, but on a separate topic, uh, are the production times accurate on website uh, each time I log in? So from day to day, as I'm looking at the uh, estimated um, order uh, shipping dates, is that something that's updated in day to day or how how is that updated? So oh, I can, I can you, I'll, I'll take it. I'll no, take go it. ahead. Uh, Sorry. I so, thought you were starting. <laughs> yeah. So order status, uh, the order status is updated um, every hour. Uh, that is something that was a, a recent change. We used to only update every day, but we do update order status uh, at the uh, every hour now. So uh, more frequent updates throughout the day. So as the processing of your order changes, um, both from a when will it be shipping and or if you're seeing any holds or issues with your order, those would get updated during the day each hour. Uh, next, uh, when doing a virtual, is there a way to change the imprint color? So with the artwork on the virtual, um, that is not something that is uh, capable on the site today. Um, unless you actually have artwork that's in different colors, you could upload a second uh, art file and create another file, I'm uh, sorry, another, uh, another virtual, but we don't have a way to change the virtual artwork color. Again, something we can take into the uh, development queue. Um, I tried a virtual sample of a few products and it wasn't available. Is this something that is still being worked on? Uh, okay, so yes, there are times, uh, there are thousands of products uh, that we have virtuals for. Um, there are times where we don't have the virtual available and it is something that's being worked on actively. So we continue to find those and add either, sometimes it's a matter of having the photographed image available at the right angle in order to show the virtual location. Uh, sometimes it's a matter of making sure that we've got uh, the technology working, but in either case, uh, we continue to audit that and look for ways to increase it so that for the locations that you see on each uh, image for each product, uh, that you'll have the opportunity to create a virtual across the different decoration locations that we support. Looking at, I think we might have a couple more that aren't yet addressed. Uh, it says here, is the $40 sure ship fee in US dollars or Canadian dollars? How much should we charge our clients uh, for sure ship? So the first part, I would say the example we showed was in US dollars. Um, I do not off the top of my head want to quote the net charge for um Canadian dollars, I don't recall the translation right now, So, uh, but it, it was a Canadian dollar example. 
And as far as how much you charge, that that is uh, your decision, um, as long as you understand your net cost. Um, but in the example in the US, uh, the coded price is $50. It's a net charge of 40. Um, so that's an opportunity for you to decide how you want to pro pro uh, price that to your client. Looking through anything we haven't addressed. All right, here, does the uh, image need to be in PNG to have a transparent background? Um, Brittany, if you want to take that one. Um, no, you can save your image out. Uh, you can right click and save it out or you can save your image once you create the virtual or there's an option to save it from the bottom as well. But we also do have um, the option to remove any white space from the back of your uh, logos on your actual products as well. So if you're drilling down into the specifications of, you know, what's showing on that product image as well, you can have some capabilities there as too. And I would just add that if you have a, you know, if you upload a JPEG, uh, we do have the capability to, you know, select to remove the white from the background in the virtual. All right. I'm not seeing other. Uh, okay. We just did get a question coming up. Your site used to have group photos of each item with all colors of the item shown in one picture. Will those group photos ever come back onto the site? Um, I, I know we did have that in some cases. Uh, it's not common for us to have that right now. Um, so it's not a, a current effort to do so. We do change the assortment colors over time. Uh, sometimes we add, sometimes we subtract with depending on the trends in the marketplace and um, you know what all of you order from us. So uh, the color way shots are not a standard answer for us um, within each product. But again, that's something that we look at the feedback. And if that's something that's regularly requested, um, that's something we can also consider. All right, well, I think we may have come to the end of our questions that we currently have out there. Um, again, uh, up on the email, you see the uh, please send us feedback, input and options. If you think that there's things that we are doing uh, well, but can be better, or if there's things missing from functionality and capability, um, we would love to hear from you. So um, with that, I think we will, be able to close the webinar. Brittany, thank you so much for uh, being our tour guide of PCNA.com. And we will look forward to hearing from you in the future. Thank you. Thanks, guys.